Good morning again. This is Dennis Barnes with MCAT. I'd like to welcome you to the webinar here that for uh, Friday morning, April 12th, uh, Introduction to SolidWorks Electrical. We're going to be spending about 20 minutes looking at this product from SolidWorks today. Um, by a show of hands on your uh, webinar page there, can you tell me if any of you have actually uh, had a look at the SolidWorks Electrical or are familiar with any of its capabilities? Jeff. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue. Uh, today we're going to talk about the typical electrical mechanical design process uh, and some of the issues that we've been running into with it and why we have a product that will help uh, improve this process uh, and a, an improvement to that process through the SOLIDWORKS electrical design. Uh, we're going to look at the SOLIDWORKS electrical products uh, in a brief introduction and I will summarize some of the capabilities there for that product. So here's a look at your typical electrical mechanical design process. Uh, you start with the elect this is not uh, everyone's process, but for the norm in the industry, we would usually see this. The electrical schematic is created, uh, the mechanical design is then done, and then the integration and the documentation uh, is done in that. It's a serial process, and sometimes the documentation is done as an afterthought during the manufacturing process. So this is a complete integrated process and it is completely serial. Um, here's some of the problems with this electrical design process. Uh, basically 2D CAD doesn't really facilitate a lot of the electrical design productivity. Um, the reuse of electrical design uh, symbols and so forth sometimes are more difficult because the CAD software doesn't facilitate its ability to do that. Uh, a lot of times you'll have separate bills of material for mechanical and electrical systems and it makes it difficult to do cost estimation for products. Um, design collaboration is a challenge between mechanical and electrical because they don't normally sit in the same location. They're not aware of what each other are doing. It's basically throwing stuff over the wall and waiting for the collaboration to occur. Being able to integrate electrical systems into the product is sometimes an afterthought and then done as a rework process at the end of the, um, the, end of the development. Um, there's some inconsistencies in the product manufacturing planning uh, uh, in terms of creating paths for the electrical and making uh, arrangements for the electrical product inside the mechanical design area. And then um, the coordination between the, the systems designs is just difficult, electrical, hydraulic, pneumatic, and others, so forth. Um, here's what SolidWorks Electrical proposes that we can do to change this process and to improve on it. Basically, we take the solid, the serial process and we create a more parallel process by taking the mechanical design and integrating and documenting the electrical portion of it in parallel as that's done through the process. This is actually going to bring better business decisions earlier in the process prior to manufacturing and save everybody some money. So what I'd like to do is talk to you about the product today, uh, SolidWorks Electrical, um, and what it can do to help improve this process. So here's some of the electrical capabilities. Uh, it's got a powerful user interface. It's based on a SQL uh, database architecture. Real-time bidirectional links between the two-dimensional drawings and the three-dimensional design in SolidWorks. Um, you can have also real-time multi-user design co collaboration. Very easy to copy and reuse circuitry. We have the ability to create customer custom symbols within the 2D application. Uh, very easy single-line schematic creation. Uh, rule checks happen real-time. Uh, reports are easy to update, easy to generate, uh, documentation packages come together very quickly. Uh, you can import multiple symbols, uh, your own symbols, and customize those. Uh, you can run multiple concurrent processes. The existing library has more than 500,000 electrical components and symbols. We can use uh, the PLC terminal strip management tools within uh, the electrical 2D side. This actually has a link to EDP, uh, EPDM, which is the Enterprise uh, 
project data management software. So you can actually have real-time collaboration uh, via instant messaging between the engineering staff. Uh, and it actually will display data uh, for projects in multiple concurrent languages. Um, what does electrical 3D do for us? Okay, so electrical 2D is the uh, the electrical side is 2D, which provides schematics and wire diagrams, symbols, and so forth. And it integrates with the electrical 3D for the mechanical design process. So it lets us take the 2D schematic design and leverage it between SolidWorks Electrical into the 3D model. We can actually place the electrical items from the symbols, have them linked to solids, and show them into uh, the electrical, the mechanical design to ensure that they fit properly. We can actually create cable and wire harnesses within the, elect, the 3D design process and show it in our cabinets as well as doing electrical harness design in 3D. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually go through this electrical mechanical design process. We're going to add to the design. We're going to update the schematics. We're going to update the 3D model, and then we're going to generate some documentation. So what I'd like to do now is go ahead and flip to the electrical product and show you some of the things that are available in the electrical product. So what we're looking at right now is a schematic, a typical electrical schematic for this product. Uh, it comes from typically the, the upper level line diagram area. This is a line diagram of a PC, PLC control circuit. Uh, connectors, cross-connect, and some motors. I'll show you how easy it is to add uh, to this particular design. Basically, all we have to do is go to Insert Symbol. The last symbol that I used is showing right here. But if I didn't want that, I could actually click on Other Symbol, and my library of symbols would come up. So these are 2D representations uh, of pictures of the different products that I could be putting in here. So you'll see there's several categories of these products. The library is quite extensive and you can add to this if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and use the existing symbol that I had here for this motor. I'm going to drop it in. The system already knows that it's going to be M3 because I already used M2 and I'm actually going to assign this symbol a manufacturer and a part number. So I've already had Leroy Somner, Somer parts in here so I'm going to continue with that use. Select the part number and go ahead and add it into my line diagram. I can actually go ahead and draw the cable for this to my terminal strip very easily. And even within this diagram here, I can actually associate the cable to the cross connect in the terminals. So if I go ahead and add a terminal strip, add to this terminal strip in here for four connectors, you'll see that it added them down here at the bottom. So if I go to associate these wires, I can add a cable type in here. So here's my cable, my cores here. All I have to do is associate a cable in here for these. Go ahead and add my cable for power. There's my power cable. Go ahead and add that.
associate my wires. Create the connection to this side. And now I have a connection and details for this particular wire. So if I go over to my schematic side here, which I had open before, I can add the details for this wiring from this motor by simply copying and pasting from an initial, the already drawn wires, or I can actually go to my macro section, which I've saved some wiring here for this control circuit, and I can just basically drag it and drop it right onto my schematic here. Take my symbol and associate it to my M3 motor that I just added. Go ahead and associate my other symbol properties. which are already in my symbol list. And I very quickly have an associated schematic here. Now, I'll show you how easy it is to add a terminal strip in here. Just draw the line across the wires that you want the terminal strip. And then associate it to the terminal strip that was already put in there before when I associated the the wires and it automatically updates the connections there. Very quickly I can go ahead and go to my process here and renumber my wires so that I have wire numbers for all the parts that are just associated, the schematics there. Within the project I also have these reports that will show me different looks at what's going on with this. I have a bill of materials here, a wire list, and if I want I can actually go to the project and insert even more wires, uh, more reports that are available here. I can add a report. This is the list of reports that come out of the box from SolidWorks Electrical. So if I wanted to add three, uh, my PLC report there. I can actually generate that drawing for the PLC inputs and outputs. So there's that report right there that shows my PLC wiring. There's the PLC controls schematic. with all the wire details and so forth, inputs and outputs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip over to the SOLIDWORKS 3D side and give you a look at what happens when we integrate the 3D with the 2D. So when you turn on SOLIDWORKS 3D, you get this extra tab here that gives you a look into the project. So you can view all of the documents that are already in the project. So if I open and view the line diagram, I can see there's my M3 motor that was already added, so it was real time. I can look at all the schematics. And any documents that have been associated with my project. So over here on my packaging line, you can see that that motor M3 was added to my packaging line. And I have these checkboxes next to these items that have the little SOLIDWORKS symbols on them. These are the 3D representations of the 2D items that were put into the schematic. So Q1 has already been, I'm sorry, K1 has already been added. It's highlighted in blue in my SOLIDWORKS cabinet right here. 
K2 doesn't have a check mark. K3 has a check mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to associate my K2 to the SolidWorks part that's already in the drawing here. Everything else uh, turned transparent to show that this part actually is available for me to associate. So I just associate it, click OK, and now that part is associated from, three, from the 2D drawing into the 3D schematic, the 3D design there. So once I get these in here, I can manipulate these. As an electrical designer, I don't have to know SolidWorks to get these parts in here. I can drag and drop or insert directly from these and manipulate and move these things around. So if I wanted to align these components, I could take these three, these three relays and move them around my, draw, my design here. So if I wanted to put these at 10 millimeters and space them evenly across this rail, all I'd have to do is select that and it would go ahead and do it. In addition to the manipulation of the solids, I can actually use a routing component within SolidWorks to use the 2D, the 3D uh, sketching that we've already set up in SolidWorks to have our wiring follow these sketch routes. So as you can see, I've got these 3D sketch routes that are in here uh, that help our wires when they're configured to go through the, the glands uh, and along the rails to follow this path and go to these individual components. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the electrical route wires function to follow this 3D sketch route for these components that are in this cabinet here. You see how easy this is happening. So it went ahead and threw in all the wires, including the color codes for the wires between all the cross-connect, all the components, the PLC controls, the, connect, the uh, terminal strip down here, and the relays that I had originally in this box. So I can take this box now and I can generate a drawing from this box to add to my uh, documentation. So here's my electrical enclosure. Showing all the wires that I just put in there. If I orient this appropriately, I can create just this specific drawing and add this drawing into my SolidWorks Uh, documentation set. So all I have to do is create the project drawing and as soon as it catches up here we'll go over to the electrical side and we'll see that the documents have been put in. The drawing now has been added from the 3D side into the 2D project. So we've added components. 
we've uh, updated our schematics and we've moved into 3D and document and completed the documentation now in our 2D project.